Hello everyone, my name is Mark, welcome to my channel where I review a range of products. Previously I've reviewed the Flux Planetarium and the DS1 Planetarium. So today's video, which has been asked for a lot, is the Flux versus the DS1. Really interested to know what you think of both products. If you have an opinion, let everyone know in the comment section below. I'll put links to both products in the comment section below. And if you enjoy this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So first up we've got the DS1, this is only available from the manufacturer, it's quite expensive but it is a cylindrical design with the constellations around the side and light up controls. That's up against the Flux which is a lower cost option and nowhere near as premium but it's widely available via Amazon. The Flux is powered by a USB cable, the DS1 comes with a range of plugs to use internationally. They come with discs, they both use a disc system, round disc system, and you'll notice they look very similar, but they're actually slightly different in size. The Dark Skies disc is a little bit bigger. That also contains a lot more stars on it. If you think this is something you're going to use a lot, you can get a range of additional discs from the manufacturer's website. One of the standout features the DS1 has over the Flux is its nightlight mode. I absolutely love it. I think it looks spectacular. It fades when the planetarium's on and there are backlit controls. The Flux, on the other hand, is just a very black object. The controls are difficult to see in the dark. But let's get down to it. Here we go. Here's the projections themselves the flux has considerably less stars when you get up close it looks good but nowhere near as good as the ds1 stars there's just so many more this is especially noticeable if you get really up close and then pull away you can see up close pull back and it's a great looking planetarium but when you get up close to the ds1 there's just so many more stars pull back and it's really like a night sky that I've never seen before because I live in an area with a lot of light pollution. Now of course this will come down to personal taste. I think in person the DS1 looks a lot better and you know you are paying a lot for that but it looks like an amazing night sky. Both feature shooting stars and both can rotate clockwise, anti-clockwise and have an auto shut off. So which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. You certainly pay a lot more for the DS1 but you do get a lot more stars and extra functionality such as the backlit lights and that amazing nightlight mode. The Flux is considerably cheaper but as you can see you get far fewer stars for your money. However, if you just want to project something up and lie back, look up at the night sky while on your bed, then maybe the flux will do. I'm really interested to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this short versus video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you on my next video.